<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to We Film Things, it's me Jack. And Alishka. Alishka is not actually this tall, she stood on some books. Otherwise I'm <laughs> out of frame and Alishka's in frame. Or it's just Alishka's eyes <laughs> peeping over the top of them. This is why it's... <laughs> <laughs> Not what we're coming to talk to you about today. Um, we just thought we might do a little video about travelling as a couple because that's what we do. And we do get questions about it from friends and family. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> Anyway guys, really looking forward to talking to you about this topic because this is the first film we've appeared in together in 2018. We are still together for the record. stalkers out there. And <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to make this film about travelling together as a couple because we basically love travelling together. It's what we do, it's why we're together actually I think. But loads of people ask us about how do we do that? <laughs> I ask myself all the time, how do we do that? How do we do that? And Lord knows, James Grant, this one goes out to you. You've seen us on the edge, but we managed to keep it together thanks to these little tips. So let's take it away. Tip number one, guys, make sure you communicate before you even set off. Let's start at the start. When you set off on a trip, you gotta know what the trip's about. Is it about a romantic getaway or are you gonna be getting the grounds? Because if it's about getting those grounds, you wanna make sure you got your cameras, you got all that stuff, it's about a romantic getaway. You need some other gear with you. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's good to talk about what you both expect from the trip because that means that you've both got the same expectations, neither of you is going to be disappointed, you're both aiming to achieve the same thing. The other thing you need to communicate about is the budget, how much you guys are going to spend when you're away. We do that before we go because if you both got different expectations about what you're going to be spending money on and how much, that can lead to arguments and pretty bad arguments. So we try and talk about that really early on and that really defines the trip. Are we going to be staying in Airbnbs or are we going to be staying in hostels, for example? Next tip is, and especially I guess if you're starting to travel as a couple, uh, and especially if you're going on longer trips, consider traveling with friends. Now we like to travel with friends even though we've been together for as long as I can remember. But it sometimes it just takes, or sometimes you might want to just travel with friends for part of the trip and have part of the trip just for the two of you. It takes that pressure off a little bit, it adds a different dynamic to um, the trip. We like to employ a official third wheel named James Grant. He's very good at it. He's got all the certificates. I think he's in the uh, certified third wheel guides um, so international. If you, so if you want to hire yeah. one, you can. I'll give you his number. On that point, though, you don't want to be alienating the other person because you're spending all your time with your best bud. So you also want to make sure you're planning in some time, just reflecting and enjoying one another's company. Because, to be honest, travel can be quite stressful, and so if you've got time planned where you can just relax together, then that really, really helps, I think. Jack. What's wrong with that? You can't put that in the video. You can't. My mum watches our videos. She so thinks we're just really good friends. <laughs> All right, straight on to our next tip, and that one is about getting stressed. Identify your stress factors and try to minimize them. You need to figure out what it is that makes you stressed and try to either avoid it or deal with it in a sensible way. What do you think I get stressed about? I know what you get stressed about. What do you think I get stressed about? <laughs> you get stressed about stressful situations. Like what? As in like any situations where we might potentially be in slight danger when we were stuck on a mountain after dark you got very stressed out when we got out of the car in the desert in Namibia and you thought there might be lions around I wasn't stressed, I was just making <laughs> yeah. sure, no, no, sure no one died and there were lions around they said there were desert lions in this area don't leave your vehicle <laughs> okay I'm like the, the main lion that looks after the pride you know, like just stay inside of one another. Keep looking. Keep your hairs on a swivel. Are you even looking where you're going? So basically what you're saying is there's a massive spot. Alishka on the other hand, I think, this is fair to say, 
you get stressed more to do with how your internal feelings are going on that day rather than <laughs> external factors. You tried so, to say I'm No, no. So I think like you get stressed because you don't wake up feeling very well about me. <laughs> <laughs> Every day I wake up and I don't know what's gonna what's gonna be like that day. I think if you're very relaxed that day and you know you you'll have a great day. But if you feel a bit tense, I think that just permeates a little bit into your day. Um, okay, okay, well let's play a little game now. What do you think my best travel trait is? Your best travel trait? Yeah. Um like keeping up spirits. Mm. Team spirits? Yeah, I'm I'm Alpha, alpha lion. Cause, so if James and I went traveling together by ourselves, you would be the, having the worst time. People would look on you, you on the bus, and be like, they are having the worst time on earth. Like, but we wouldn't be. We would just like not be having be. the best time. When we're in Vietnam, <laughs> James had this face like this the whole time. Well, not the whole time. <laughs> but some of the time, he was like this. And I, I was saying to this guy, I think James is having the worst time. We spoke about it after we got back, and James was like, well, I was having the best time, guys. No, I think that's fair enough. I think I am a good, um, like, fire lighter. Like, I, I keep the fire going for the team. Okay, I think your best travel trait is you're very practical. So I think things can go wrong sometimes. Actually, that's where the adventure kicks in. <laughs> An example of that is you're very good at reading maps. Um, it's that practical skill. I don't have that skill, I, and I can't grow it. It just won't come to me. And without that skill, I think we would have been lost already. We'd probably have died. <laughs> so I think it's a great skill to be having. What do you think is my most annoying travel trait? Mm, no, I actually know what your most annoying travel trait is. Okay. Anywhere we go, Jack has this like absolute need to like <laughs> imitate the accent of the people wherever we are. And it's just so offensive and like, <laughs> just so frustrating. So I think your most annoying travel trait is that you're extremely clumsy sometimes and <laughs> just very absent-minded sometimes. And I mean, we go, we try and go on a big trip every year because we, have, we work full time, so we can't do it all the time. At least half of those trips, Alishka has lost her, all of her cards, <laughs> and therefore I have to carry the finances. That's actually true. Like, it's no, impossible. I've never true. even lost my card <laughs> in the UK. How do you, Alishka just leaves her cards at airports <laughs> and forgets them. She's on holiday now. Doesn't need them. Doesn't need them. <laughs> I mean, it's never on purpose, so I'll just throw that That's out That's why it's annoying. If it's on purpose, at least I can be annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, why are you throwing your cards away? I don't think that's just me. <laughs> that it's, <laughs> it's just you and this couple. <laughs> Next tip coming at you is this. If one of you is really passionate about a particular place, just let them lead, you know? Just let them get on with it, let them be the leader, and just take a back seat and actually that can be super relaxing. For example, you know, when we went to San Francisco, we had like this itinerary, which was San Francisco in like 12 hours. And we just <laughs> smashed it because unless you're so passionate about getting all of the sites done. Our next tip is as nice as it is to travel together, make sure you also take that time apart. So even when you're traveling together, take, I don't know, a couple of hours to just read or if, it, if you want to go see a gallery exhibition that the other person doesn't want to see, go see it. Let them do what they want. Like chill out about it. There's no reason why you need to do everything together. But being able to say that is really important. Mm. So the fact that we can say, I think it's cool if you want to go to a gallery. It's really important because I'm not going to be upset if Lushka wants to do something without me. All right, guys, thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure and I hope you've enjoyed getting a bit of this in your we, daily despite life. Despite what you might think from the video, we do actually generally like each other, so. <laughs> generally. You know, I wish we had time to make these kind of videos all the time, but because we don't, let us know in the comments below if there's anything you want to hear from us. So if there's anything specific. Us. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's what this means. <laughs> so if there's anything specific that you guys want to hear about, let us know um, in the comments below. We'd love to make those videos for you. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a little like, leave us a little comment if you have any thoughts or tips for traveling with your the love it other half or just friends in general because I think a lot of these tips work for friends as well. Yeah, if you need a third wheel as well, let us know. Either one I will of think us... about sharing it. 
<laughs> Either one of us will be happy to go on your trip with you if you need that, depending on where the trip is and if it's all expenses paid. Or we can loan James out for a small fee. Just let us know. Don't contact him directly. Let us know first. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, as you can tell, <laughs> by getting these tips down, you can have the best time traveling, not the worst time. So, great. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> Watch more of our videos for fun times and all the laughs. Alright guys, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. This has been empty the whole time. <laughs>